There is a massive tension in Asorok. An information is reaching me now that there is a massive tension in Asorok as they have refused to withdraw their men from the part of Biafra land that the US general told them, the UN general told them to remove their men. Hear the news in details. We are breaking so many records so many big records and, and some of you are not even seeing it as record breaking but you got with somebody here massive tension and this is a big attack on their French soldiers you see for so long we have been waiting for a date where we can come together and cast a vote several times hope have been given hope have been broken and lots will continue to happen. But one thing is very, very certainly sure that the game will no longer be the same. It doesn't matter how they want to twist it. It doesn't matter what they want to do. One thing is very, very important that the game can no longer be the same. Because this very game that each of them have been zooming around and trying to lie about will change everything. And that's the beginning. Because our words and our freedom have become more importantly soft. And by so doing, many people will see the light that we have been preaching. It takes a lot to be desired. So this tension that they are, they are, that they are seeing now is just beginning. <laughs> it's just the beginning. Because what else do they want to, to say? What else do they want to say if not that the whole situation must be covered in a big form and in a big format and that is why i must say it that our wars and our freedom must be expressed in a proper way We cannot continue to break unnecessary records. Records that does not make sense. And that is what we want to prove to the zoo. You cannot tie us down and ask us to keep quiet. And that's just the beginning. So by so doing, they now understand that we are already, we are already winning. The win is not just for the small market, but for the biggest market that wants to shop. So, I will say it again. They can cry from today to tomorrow, but one thing is certain, that we will not sit back and watch them disrespect us or disrespect our people. It is either Biafra or nothing. It is either what Biafra or not. It. it has to be a very, very formidable story. It has to be a formidable force. It has to be something that is well looked into before anybody can tell us that what we are doing, we are not doing it well. This is just the beginning. This is just what the beginning. We must stay committed in everything that we are doing that's what makes us greatness at a very big large extent i can now say that biafrans can be called their own country <laughs> so united nations soldiers i mean soldiers the general has ordered that 
the men of the zoo government should be withdrawn from some part, some part of Biafra land immediately as the Biafra referendum voting is coming to realization. Am I even at the in here? A lot of people have been saying all kinds of things. We are not see. We don't used to hear it from other blogs. Only his blogs. Only this one. Only that one. I just be laughing. You want to hear Biafra news from Polish newspaper? You want to hear it from uh, uh, NTA? What do you want to hear? Biafra news. They are talking about Biafra. You think any of them will wish you well? sometimes we we see from nowhere not they come but what are we going to do we must continue to preach this very gospel till it gets to that final point because we don't care an order has been given withdraw your men because now anything that happens at that part of Biafra will be a full force to you all and some people thought we were joking. We didn't mean to joke, my friend. We didn't mean to joke. Everything we have been saying from the beginning to the very end is the gospel and nothing but the gospel. We must continue in every path to make sure that words of wisdom is used wisely. That is why I will say it, and I will say it again. That one of the biggest energy that I can clap for is Prime Minister Simon Eber. He has done a lot of job. A lot. A lot. Imana, I had the vocal beginning of this January, and I'm going to I'm going to cancel when I do because I wasn't happy with some certain things. When I got some information about what is going on, I said to myself, well, this is not the point. This is not the the point. The, the point to begin to have this kind of discussion. And I told them, if we should stay one side, I went to my predecessor. I told him that, sir, Kerifana Koefa. He said, Ada Biafra, don't worry, <laughs> don't worry. And I'm very happy now. And the reason why I'm happy is that everything is playing out from Shell Company leaving Bia uh, Nigeria, leaving Biafra, and now requesting for other new uh, alternatives everything is giving me joy and that joy is big it's very very big i must say so we cannot i always say this in every of my brokers we cannot be slaves in our own land it's not possible <laughs> They demolish it. Only Muruan and Apataka or Tiji. Everywhere an Igbo man is, they will always have problem with them. But I tell them that this problem that you are always having with the Igbos will end in your head. It will definitely end in your head. And they said we are joking. We are not joking, my friend. For so long, we have been asking politely. Politely. Now you're because you get it. Sam is naive, funny, my no dilemma. No more goes to my dilemma. They said we are, we are making noise. This is not the point to come and start declaring what we're going to declare what Nigeria is going to. They can't win us, of course, but they, we, the damages will be strong on us and on them. So, but it cannot be like Ojuku time because this time around, every man is armed. <laughs> Do you hear that English? Every man is armed. So, carry that you make it on a fair, fair one, one man, car, man, car, and came. No, it's not gonna happen like that. Victory is already at hand.